In this video, we're going to use a face recognition technique in OpenCV to recognize a face between other faces. So the first step is to get the face recognition demo from OpenCV. And here's the code. And also, you need to download a database, faces database. And just for an example, we're going to use the, the AT&T database of faces. And you can go to this direction and you can download it here. And once you download it, you have to extract it and you will have something similar to this. So you will have 40 subjects and inside each, each folder you will have 10 images of that subject. So we have 40 people and 10 pictures of each person in slightly different poses. So we have that database ready and then you need to have a file that describes the images. For example, for each image, you have the path to the image and then you have separated by this symbol, you have an integer. This integer represents like the name of the person or the ID of the person. In this case, we're starting from zero up to 39. So it's just this number minus one. So we have all of them here, the corresponding number. This is the folder and this is the entire path to get up to the file and you get the ID here. Okay, so when you have those two, first you can compile it and after that you can just run it with the this as an argument the csv file so the csv file has to be talking about or expressing these images and for all these images it will have a zero on the type of the image this one it will have one and so on so what we're going to do is by using this technique, we're going to predict a class. For this demo, we're trying to recognize the last subject, which is class 37. We can see that the predicted class correctly says 37, and we can see a confirmation of that in the actual class, which is 37 as expected. These two lines are the important part to look at. Over here, we can see the feature face models for each class. Now let me show you the code for this. First, we need to read all the images under labels. Then we have to define the test sample, which represents the image that we want to recognize. In this case, we're using the last one. They remove the last one from the list of images. So then the model is trained with, the, with just all the images up to the last one. So the last image is not considered in the model. In this case, the last image is actually this one. So we can see that image, for example, it's the subject 38 here and here. So it's, this is the last image. And in this demo, the last image is used as um, a test. All the rest are used as a training. So this image is 37. So that's the answer where that should be. And that's it. So in the code, we can see that the agent vectors are calculated here. This is the important part. They create a feature face recognizer. This is everything in the contribution model by Philip Wagner. Very nice code that it's given by him. And it's correctly predicted. Here you can you can have the prediction of the model. You have the model after you train the model, you can predict. If you give it a test a sample, in this case, it's just an image. If you predict with that image, it will tell you that it's the face number 37, which is correct in this case, because the actual class was that. Okay, so now you can change all these images into your own images and also change the CSV file. And now you can use OpenCV to recognize your own faces.